The Dandelion's Tale, written by Kevin Sheehan and illustrated by Rob Dunlavy. One fine summer day, Sparrow was out flying above a beautiful green meadow. The warm sun felt wonderful against his brown, spotted feathers. Stopping to rest on the limb of a dogwood tree, Sparrow noticed a dandelion. Alone in the tall grass, her downy seeds looked like a delicate cotton ball perched atop her light green stem. Imagine Sparrow's surprise when he heard the dandelion crying, Hello down there, Sparrow chirped. Why the tears? The sun is out, the air is warm, and everything is in bloom. Let me tell you why I'm sad, the dandelion replied as Sparrow fluttered down beside her. A short while ago, I was so strong and the brightest yellow you've ever seen. Now I'm white and fuzzy and I've lost most of my seed pods. If the wind starts to blow, I'll lose them all, and no one will know I was ever here. Sparrow counted, counted the dandelion's remaining pods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inside each held a tiny seed. Oh dear, Sparrow replied, what will you do? The dandelion considered her dilemma. Since I'm planted in the ground and have no arms or legs, maybe you can help me. That's the spirit, Sparrow chirped. Just tell me how, the dandelion thought for a moment, then said, can you fly me over to the other dandelion so I can tell them about myself? Sparrow flew in the air and quickly scanned the fields. There wasn't another dandelion in sight. I don't see any others, he reported. There are some in a field I pass every day, but I'm afraid that may be too far away. The breeze could blow your seed pods right off. The dandelion sighed. Still, if I could have only one wish, I would wish to be remembered. Wait, I have an idea, Sparrow explained, exclaimed, hopping from foot to foot. I could write your story in that patch of dirt by the tree. It would look just like a book, the dandelion said with glee. I once saw a young mother read to her little boy there. The story was, wonder story was wonderful, and I was so envious that people have something as marvelous as books. Sparrow flapped his wings and landed by the tree. I know you can't see me, he shouted. Just tell me what you want me to write. The dandelion was thrilled. There were so many things to say. Right, that I like the smell of the meadow the day after it rains. Oh, and that I love to look at clouds against the blue afternoon sky. Right, how much I've enjoyed hearing the laughter of children as they play in the meadow and the fun I've had talking with the squirrels as they look for food in the morning. Sparrow wrote and wrote for hours, scratching the dandelion's words into the soft, dry dirt. The dandelion told him all the things she had seen and loved. She spoke of milkweed and hummingbirds, of dancing butterflies and picnicking families, of busy ants and busier bees. When they were done, Sparrow read everything back to the dandelion. It's perfect, she said. Thank you so much. You have made me very happy. To show his own happiness, the sparrow whistled a song. By the time he was finished, shadows were creeping across the meadow and night was falling. I have to go now, he told Dandelion, but I'll be back tomorrow and we can read your story again. And with a loud chirp, he spread his wings and flew home. That night, there was a terrible storm. Thunder rumbled, lightning lit up the sky. Oh my, Sparrow cried. I do hope the Dandelion is all right. He tried to fly to the meadow, but the wind blew him, blew back, blew him back into his nest. Defeated, Sparrow decided that he would visit the dandelion first thing in the morning. Morning came and with it, the sun rose in the sky. Rustling the wet water from his feathers, Sparrow sprang from his nest and flew to the dogwood tree. But all that was left of the dandelion was her light green stem. The storm had been too powerful, the fragile little flower. Poor dandelion, poor, poor dandelion, I will miss you, he said. 
Then Sparrow recalled the dandelion's tale. At least I still have your story to share, he said. He hopped over the dirt patch to the dirt patch, but his scratches were gone. The dandelion's story had been washed away by the rain. Sparrow closed his eyes and wept. As the breeze blew gently through the trees, he said, I promise I'll never forget you. And he began to sing a beautiful song about the dandelion for all in the meadow to hear. Even the other birds in the trees joined in the dandelion song. A few weeks later, Sparrow was flying over the meadows when he saw a cluster of baby dandelions by the dogwood tree. Curious, he sat down in the middle of them. Hello there, he said. Hi, they replied in their tiny voices. Sparrow counted the flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just as there had been ten white seed pods on the dandelion. Each of the dandelion's children were as bright and yellow as the sun. Would you like to hear a special story? Sparrow asked. Oh, yes, please, the littlest dandelion said. Sparrow settled into the grass and cleared his throat with a slight chirp. I'm going to tell you about a great friend of mine. And because Sparrow had written and read the dandelion story, he discovered that he knew it by heart. When he was finished, he felt sure that the dandelion would never be forgotten. She would always live on in the bright yellow petals of her children and their children and so on until the end of time. The end.